After the test launch a few weeks ago, we still had around 3 kilos of holly powder left, so we decided to fly the rocket again in more sunny conditions and with blue skies. The rocket again was put onto the launch pad first and locked into place. We put in about 300 grams of pink, followed by 300 grams of green, and then a couple of hundred grams of orange on top of that. Volume wise, there was about one and a half litres of powder inside. The funnel then gets unscrewed from the top and we screw on another bottle with the deployment mechanism sitting on top of that. And then all that's needed is a little pressure. Okay, that was a little too much pressure. Very colourful. Sometimes you just have to let the genie out of the bottle. At least it gave a nice powder plume. The bottom of the top bottle blew out. Normally these bottles are fine with 120 psi, but maybe this one had a weak base. That's why we bring spare bottles and deployment mechanisms. So we filled the lower part of the rocket again with more powder, and there was some powder left in from the previous attempt. This time we filled it to a slightly lower pressure, just in case. And here's that launch from a few different angles. Go! The rocket seemed to perform just as well as it does with water. The sun was still out and we had plenty of powder left, so it was time to fill the rocket again, but this time with blue and purple. We also taped a small camera to the side of the rocket to get a better look of the powder plume from the rocket's point of view. And here's that flight again from a few different angles. The rocket landed safely under parachute. The launch site's a little dusty, but the next rain shower will take care of that. Thanks for watching.